Welcome to our new series. We are going to start the Bedtime Stories with Plushies. I will start the show. Shout the out to me for holding the camera. Jamie is our cameraman today, Jamie. I love you, bro. You are the real MVP. Okay, the first story we read is going to be a Halloween theme story. First story, narrated by me, Vampire, will be the monster. Let us begin. The Monster by Tara, written by Tara Lazar, illustrated by James Burks. Sorry, little hamster, I need to move you. At the back of Frankenstein's candy shop, under the last box of sour gumballs, there is a trap door. Knock five times fast, hand over a bag of squirmy worms, and you can crawl inside the monster. Uh -huh. The monster sells only the most useful monsters, just right for doing tricky things around the house. Ooh, I like the blue one. He's eating yummy, gummy worms. Mm, making me very hungry. Sorry about laughing. I can't. I, I just gotta let them out. The kind that love crab leg casserole, the kind that glow in the dark, and the kind that frighten pesky little sisters away. He's big. That's scary. Except Manfred the monster. He was supposed to stop Gracie from snooping around in Zack's bedroom. Instead, Manfred showed Gracie his favorite hiding space. <sighs> Zack wanted a refund. I want a refund. Sorry, no returns, no exchanges. That creepy looking guy with the little mustache, he's the manager. But Manfred doesn't work. <sighs> Add another. Monsters make bigger scares in pairs. So, Zack brought Mookie home. He was supposed to stay up into the wee hours and keep Gracie from sleepwalking into Zack's bedroom. Instead, Manfred and Mookie taught Gracie a new way to wake him up. Zack had the right to a refund. Sorry, no returns, no exchanges. But Manfred and Mookie are broken. Add another. A monster threesome is more gruesome than a twosome. So Zack bought, brought Mojo home. He was supposed to set booby traps around Zack's bedroom, capture Gracie, and haul her away. No more sneaky sister snooping, sleepwalking, or snatching his stuff. Instead, Manfred, Mookie, and Mojo threw Gracie a monstrous birthday bash right there in his room. That was it. Zack begged, whined, grumbled, and collapsed onto the cash register. But the monster manager just pointed to the sign. I deserve a complete and total refund. No returns, no exchanges, no exceptions. So Zack kept buying and trying and buying. Pretty soon, Zack had collected so many monsters he had to pack up and move to the basement. What the? In the middle of the night, the splintery stairs made a creepy creak. Who, who's there? Will you sleep in my room? There's something scary up there. Finally, the monsters were working. 
Zack sprinted up the stairs two at a time to see what monsterly mischief had spooked his little sister. Eek, over there. That's what you're afraid of? Yes, it's all sharp and prickly, and it's so shiny and bright, it's hurting our eyes. Get it, get it out of here, please. Zack was tempted to leave that glitzy, glittery thing right there. But Gracie was right. It was pretty hideous. That monstrosity had more spikes than crab leg casserole. Slowly and carefully, Zack rid the room of the tiara terror. You're the best brother ever. After that, Gracie and the monsters cleaned up the party decorations fiendishly fast. And then Gracie and the monsters marched out of Zack's room. Finally, the bedroom belonged to Zack again. And the monsters belonged to Gracie. All of them. Every single one. An entire mob of monsters. When Gracie got home, she smooshed the monsters back inside. What are we going to do? Gracie smiled. She had a monster of an idea. So now, at the back of their crooked old bike shed, under a box of rusty roller skates, there's a trap door. Knock five times fast. Hand over a bag of squirmy worms. And you can crawl inside. The monster too. Just remember, no returns, no exchanges. The end. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that read aloud. And since you guys are so nice, here is a sneak peek for DDD episode one. So, do you have anything planned for today? No, not really. Figures. <laughs> Planky! Hey, you guys think you could play ball somewhere else? No, we're good. I told them to stop shooting me around multiple times. Gee, I couldn't tell. How could you not tell? Do you not see me right now? That was sarcasm. What sarcasm? Oh my god.